Good evening, everybody. Thank you for having me here. <clears throat> I've been at this event for many, many years. I missed it last year, and I am so happy to be back again. Um, I'm off script right now, so I hope my people aren't getting nervous, but um, <laughs> I just want to say um, I think in our country this is not the easiest moment for events like this, so I am just extremely thrilled to be celebrating with you tonight and honor and I'm in awe of all these really amazing folks. Thank you. So I am honored to present the 2019 PG&E George Cronenberger Memorial Scholarship to Victor Tiglau. Um, George was a co-founder of what is now the PG&E Pride Network, the employee resource group for LGBT employees and allies. Um, several of us are here and we are strong and proud. George, who I did not have the honor of knowing, cared deeply about ending discrimination and supporting education and suggested awarding scholarships to graduating high school students who were working to make a difference in the LGBT community, and that's what we're doing tonight. So to reach out to eligible students, George initiated cooperation between PG&E's employee group and the Bay Area Network of Gay and Lesbian Educators. The collaboration became the foundation of the equality scholarships given today. The PG&E George Cronenberger Memorial Scholarship honors a student who best exemplifies his activist spirit. This year's scholar is graduating from Diablo Valley College in Pleasant Hill and will be going to either UC Berkeley or Columbia, two amazing choices. Um, to study political science. He was the first community college student ever elected as an Equality California Fellow, working last summer in State Senator Scott Wiener's office on legislation, including testifying before a Senate committee on AB 2943 to ban conversion therapy. Let's hear it for that. <laughs> According to Rebecca Barrett, who is here with us tonight, a Contra Costa Community College trustee, Victor is the strongest, most promising future leader I have ever had the privilege to work with, and a once-in-a-generation leader who will make an incredible impact on our world. Please join me in congratulating Victor Tiglau, who he has been doing. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Good evening. Uh, how's everybody doing? Uh, tonight, I'm accompanied by two people who I love and admire so much. My mom, Maricel, a first-generation Filipino immigrant. The hero of my life. Uh, and Rebecca Barrett, my mentor and one of the fierce first-time female candidates who ran last year and won. <laughs> I'd like to thank uh, Eric, Jared, uh, Alexander, Julie, uh, and the PAG&E folks for uh, selecting me to receive the scholarship, and this means so much to me because it comes from my community, the LGBTQ community. And I also want to recognize once again that earlier today the House of Representatives has passed the Equality Act, the first comprehensive LGBT rights bill in this country. For all of our lives, our existence has been inherently political. This is why I work in politics, because it me it's our means of survival. When I worked for Scott Wiener, the state senator from San Francisco in the state legislature, I never forgot that. And to see a strong, openly gay man being unabashedly himself in a tough political arena, it was inspiring and it was empowering. There's a saying that goes, you can't be what you can't see. He was that for me. With this scholarship, a large piece of a barrier to my higher education has fallen, and I'm one step closer to achieving my dreams. Someday I hope to be a constitutional lawyer and maybe even run for office. Yes. President of the United States. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> uh, 
Mom, tonight we stand at the crossroads of hope and opportunity, an intersection that once felt impossible where we're from. This is the promised American dream. This is what it looks like. This one's for you. Thank you. Yeah.